How are all you lovely people doing today? My name is John, and welcome to the next episode in a series I like to call the Zombie Storyline Q&A. In this series, I take your questions about the zombie storyline and I answer them. Whether it be a big, small, simple, or complex question, I am more than happy to answer it. So if you have a question, go ahead, leave it down below. Maybe I'll see it and maybe I'll answer it. You might be in the next episode. And remember, no question is a stupid question, so I implore you to leave any question down below. It helps the series continue going on. Without further ado, Let's begin. The first question today comes from Matthew O'Connor, who asks, If Samuel was part of the flesh, how or why did he get separated from them? Samuel was never part of the flesh. So the flesh are a faction of people who eat zombie flesh, and they feel as though because the zombies eat them, they must complete the cycle and eat the zombies. But Sulinger just ate zombie flesh. He didn't do it because he was a member of the flesh, he just ate zombie flesh. There wasn't really much of an explanation to it, although we can assume maybe he was hungry, or maybe he just went insane and that drove him to eat zombie flesh. We don't exactly know the reasons, we just know that he did it. So he never exactly joined the flesh, and as a result he was never really separated from the flesh. They are two separate entities. We have Sulinger, who's being controlled by Richtofen, and then we have the Flesh, who are a group of people. Moving on, I have a question from Squeaks, who asks, What are the noises you hear when you die in Die Rise? This is the noise that Squeaks is referring to. What that is, is actually the sound of a door being shut. Now, a metal door, it should be noted. It almost sounds like a cell door. Now, let's think about it. What zombie map comes after Die Rise? Mob of the Dead. It was most likely an allusion to Mob of the Dead, a future zombie map. Although, at the time, we had no idea what the next zombie map would be. This was just a clue that Treyarch had left in the game for us to discover and possibly speculate about. Interestingly enough, despite us being very good Easter egg hunters and very skilled at looking for clues, for some reason we didn't really pick up on the fact that it was actually a cell door being shut. Many of us actually speculated that it was something escaping, but not getting into a cell. We're going to end today's episode with a question from Mehdi Hazim, who asks, What is the backstory on Nocturne and Toten? Nocturne and Toten actually has a backstory that many of us overlook, and it goes like this. There were four unnamed marines flying in Nazi Germany when their plane for some reason went down. Luckily, they were able to survive the plane crash and landed right next to an abandoned Nazi facility. It was within this facility that Element 115 was located and many corpses were reanimated and zombified. These zombies then went after our four marines and they fought until they could stand no longer and were consumed by the zombies. That's about it really. There isn't much of a story and we know this from the opening cutscene with the crashed airplane. There is, of course, Black Ops, where we have Richtofen, and Nikolai Takio, and Dempsey within Nocturne and Toten, although whether or not this is story-related is still up to debate, and many people actually feel that it is a symbol of a new cycle beginning with Nocturne and Toten and the four original characters. That's about it for this week's episode of the Zombie Storyline Q&A. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, or favorite. Whatever you do, it really helps my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. Have a fantastic day. Leave questions down below and bye.